swans fly on the path of the sun, men pass through the air by psychic powers, the wise are led away from the world after vanquishing Mara and his host. 176. For a liar who has violated the one law who holds in scorn the hereafter, there is no evil that he cannot do. 177. Truly, misers fare not to heavenly realms, nor, indeed, do fools praise generosity. But the wise man rejoices in giving, and by that alone does he become happy hereafter. 178. Better than soul sovereignty over the earth, better than going to heaven, better even than lordship over all the worlds is the supramundane fruition of stream entrance. Buddhavaga, the Buddha. 179. By what track can you trace that trackless Buddha of limitless range, whose victory nothing can undo, whom none of the vanquished defilements can ever pursue? 180. By what track can you trace the trackless Buddha of limitless range, in whom exists no longer, the entangling and embroiling craving that perpetuates becoming? 181. Those wise ones who are devoted to meditation and who delight in the calm of renunciation, such mindful ones, supreme Buddhas, even the gods hold dear. 182. Hard is it to be born a man, hard is the life of mortals. Hard is it to gain the opportunity of hearing the sublime truth, and hard to encounter is the arising of the Buddhas. 183. To avoid all evil, to cultivate good, and to cleanse one's mind, this is the teaching of the Buddhas. 184. Enduring patience is the highest austerity. Nibbana is supreme, say the Buddhas. He is not a true monk who harms another, nor a true renunciate who oppresses others. 185. Not despising, not harming, restraint according to the code of monastic discipline, moderation in food, dwelling in solitude, devotion to meditation, this is the teaching of the Buddhas. 186-187. There is no satisfying sensual desires, even with the rain of gold coins. For sensual pleasures give little satisfaction and much pain. Having understood this, the wise man finds no delight even in heavenly pleasures. The disciple of the Supreme Buddha delights in the destruction of craving. 188. Driven only by fear, do men go for refuge to many places, to hills, woods, groves, trees, and shrines. 189. Such, indeed, is no safe refuge, such is not the refuge supreme. Not by resorting to such a refuge is one released from all suffering. 190 to 191. He who has gone for refuge to the Buddha, the teaching and his order, penetrates with transcendental wisdom the four noble truths, suffering, the cause of suffering, the cessation of suffering, and the noble eightfold path leading to the cessation of suffering. 192. This indeed is the safe refuge, this the refuge supreme. Having gone to such a refuge, one is released from all suffering. 193. Hard to find is the thoroughbred man, he is not born everywhere. Where such a wise man is born, that clan thrives happily. 194. Blessed is the birth of the Buddhas, blessed is the enunciation of the sacred teaching, blessed is the harmony in the order, and blessed is the spiritual pursuit of the united truth seeker. 195 to 196, he who reveres those worthy of reverence, the Buddhas and their disciples, who have transcended all obstacles and passed beyond the reach of sorrow and lamentation, he who reveres such peaceful and fearless ones, his merit none can compute by any measure. Sukhavaga, Happiness. 197, Happy indeed we live, friendly amidst the hostile. Amidst hostile men we dwell free from hatred. 198, Happy indeed we live friendly amidst the afflicted. Amidst afflicted men we dwell free from affliction. 199. Happy indeed we live, free from avarice amidst the avaricious. Amidst the avaricious men we dwell free from avarice. 200. Happy indeed we live, we who possess nothing. Feeders on joy we shall be, like the radiant gods. 201. Victory begets enmity, the defeated dwell in pain. Happily the peaceful life, discarding both victory and defeat. 202. There is no fire like lust and no crime like hatred. There is no ill like the aggregates and no bliss higher than the peace. 203. Hunger is the worst disease, condition things the worst suffering. Knowing this as it really is, the wise realize nibbana, the highest bliss. 204. Health is the most precious gain and contentment the greatest wealth. 
A trustworthy person is the best kinsman, Nibbana the highest bliss. 205. Having savored the taste of solitude and peace, pain-free and stainless he becomes, drinking deep the taste of the bliss of the truth. 206. Good is it to see the noble ones, to live with them is ever blissful. One will always be happy by not encountering fools. 207. Indeed, he who moves in the company of fools grieves for longing. Association with fools is ever painful, like partnership with an enemy. But association with the wise is happy, like meeting one's own kinsman. 208. Therefore, follow the noble one, who is steadfast, wise, learned, dutiful and devout. One should follow only such a man, who is truly good and discerning, even as the moon follows the path of the stars. Piyavaga, Affection 209. Giving himself to things to be shunned and not exerting where exertion is needed, a seeker after pleasures, having given up his true welfare, envies those intent upon theirs. 210. Seek no intimacy with the beloved and also not with the unloved, for not to see the beloved and to see the unloved, both are painful. 211. Therefore hold nothing dear, for separation from the dear is painful. There are no bonds for those who have nothing beloved or unloved. 212. From endearment springs grief, from endearment springs fear. For one who is wholly free from endearment there is no grief, whence then fear? 213. From affection springs grief, from affection springs fear. For one who is wholly free from affection there is no grief, whence then fear? 214. From attachment springs grief, from attachment springs fear. For one who is wholly free from attachment there is no grief, whence then fear. 215. From lust springs grief, from lust springs fear. For one who is wholly free from craving there is no grief, whence then fear. 216. From craving springs grief, from craving springs fear. For one who is wholly free from craving there is no grief, whence then fear. 217. People hold dear him who embodies virtue and insight who is principled, has realized the truth, and who himself does what he ought to be doing. 218. One who is intent upon the ineffable, dwells with mind inspired, and is no more bound by sense pleasures, such a man is called, one bound upstream. 219. When, after a long absence, a man safely returns from afar, his relatives, friends and well-wishers welcome him home on arrival. 220. As kinsmen welcome a dear one on arrival, even so his own good deeds will welcome the doer of good who has gone from this world to the next. Kota Vaga, Anger 221. One should give up anger, renounce pride, and overcome all fetters. Suffering never befalls him who clings not to mind and body and is detached. 222. He who checks rising anger as a charioteer checks a rolling chariot, him I call a true charioteer. Others only hold the reins.